Hey guys, Super Apple Production here. Um, I'm here with a demonstration video on an application called iSquint. iSquint is an application that allows you to optimize any uh, video file that was downloaded for an iPod or a TV. Um, and I'm going to show you just how that works. Uh, if you download a video from LimeWire, like I have many, many times, uh, what you want to do is save it onto your desktop. And um, here, I'll show you an example of that. Uh, while that's loading, I'm just going to show you some uh, settings for iSquint. You can either optimize the video file for your iPod or a TV. Uh, I usually do it for my iPod, and I also add it to my iTunes uh, library, and I do H.264 encoding. I also do uh, Go Nuts quality, but you can choose tiny, low, standard, high, or go not. Uh, I wouldn't recommend changing the advanced settings. As you see, it says don't. You'll screw it all up, and it's true. I've tried it before. It does screw up the whole video file. Um, so anyways, to um, add a video file to the uh, I squint application. You just wanna gonna wanna drag a video onto your desktop like so. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up this loading bar and it's gonna say copying the name of the movie to desktop because it has to change the file from just a document to a excuse me to a video file on your desktop but when it's done with that uh it's estimating the time remaining but when it's done with that what you're going to want to do is just drag it as it says here drag files below it's just what you're going to want to do you're just going to when it's finished copying it to your desktop uh, you're just gonna wanna drag it right into this box and once it's there you're gonna wanna choose all your settings like I've already done beforehand um, and what you can do also do is um, choose where it saves it um, I'm going to choose to save it on my desktop. I would choose to ch uh, save it on my desktop, but I'm not going to uh, actually start the uh, optimization for this video because I've already done it. So anyways, it finished uh, copying it to my desktop. So what I'm going to do is just drag it, like I'm doing now, into the box where it says drag files below. And I'm going to let go. And you see it brings it in there. Uh, you're going to want to choose where you want to save it or leave it blank. And it just saves it to your iTunes library. Uh, and you're going to want to click start. It might take a long time if you if you pick go nuts standard uh may take a little less time and also go nuts quality takes up much more space than a lower quality setting uh so that is how to use iSquint to optimize downloaded videos uh with not so good quality uh, and give them better quality uh for your iPod or a TV. Uh, please rate and subscribe, and I will get back to you with a new video as soon as possible.